let's open up an entirely new area and that would that area would be old locks now the story behind this lock is uh, uh, this Yale is I found it in an antique store in Norfolk Virginia and they were they specialized in nautical stuff and you can see it has the original Yale in town manufacturing company logo on the top and on the back interestingly is a US so when you combine the marking of the US with the solid brass body and the copper shackle it just kind of led me to believe that it was probably used in the US Navy at some point probably around World War II. Another interesting thing about this lock when we turn it over is um, you'll see that it, if I get, we get it to focus here for us is that it has an engraving with UN and I have no idea what these numbers mean but I can tell you when you look at how wild this is it's probably not the bidding and you'll see that when I open the lock and then we have a GF and then the final thing about this lock that I found really interesting is, is that it has the uh, quick set keyway. So I, I have bought some uh, KW1 keys to go along with it. I have not cut them yet. I bought this lock without the key. Uh, my intention was to impression it. And of course it, it fits very tightly because th the outside of this lock was covered with this thick stuff like cosmoline, some kind of preservative, this really nasty sticky stuff. And I used gasoline and I got it cleaned up. But unfortunately, a lot of it is still on the inside. In fact, you can see some of the residue still oozing out around the cylinder here. So we're going to rake this, but we're not going to be able to single pin pick it. But I'll explain that in just a moment. Okay, so we're going to combine the old with the new. Um, let's just see if we can rake it open using this rake, which I'll describe in a moment. Most of you have probably never seen anything like this before. And we're just going to put it in. We're going to rake and bam, open. It's like magic, and if I can pull this hasp, overcome some of that cosmoline, there you go. Now, before I talk about this pick and the incredible powers that it possesses, I want to talk a little bit more about this lock. I'm not going to single pin pick it, and I'm also not going to impression these keys. Instead, there are recognized experts on YouTube that know a lot more about Yales than I will ever know, that are much better at SPPing them, and that can make this lock yield a lot of its secrets to us that I won't be able to. And the one that I visit, uh, his site most often is a guy named Oldfast911. Uh, you'll see it down at the bottom of the page I put a caption in so you can find his username on YouTube. I'm going to send this to him along with some other locks and I'm going to let him uh, clean them up and impression the keys but most importantly he's going to SPP those for us and he'll do a much better job than I will. So give him some time and you're going to see this lock again, I promise you. Now back to this pick. You probably want to know where I got this pick. You saw how open, how quickly it opened that lock, and it opens all locks that way. Well, this pick, I have to tell you, I stole it from Kokomo Lock. Now, truth be known, I was there to steal maybe some toenail clippings or maybe just a lock of his hair. But, well, the conditions didn't present themselves, and so I had to settle for stealing this pick out of his shop. Now, I, it worked every time I stick it in a lock. The lock literally jumps open. It's, like, it's incredible. And so I wanted more of these, and I wasn't sure. So I took it to our laboratory guys, and they looked at it. They analyzed the metal. And what they came back and told me was uh, the formal report said that this metal does not originate on the planet Earth. Instead, it's only been found once before, and that's how the United States government even knows anything about it. And the place that it's been found is, guess where? Area 19. That's right. This came from Area 19 out in the desert where the alien crashed. So, you probably see this here and probably you probably wrongly suspect that it's covering up some kind of logo, but in reality that's shielding. There's, it has a power source inside of there that releases a tremendous amount of nuclear radiation. And so that's the shield that they have to keep on it to prevent that from coming out. Anyway, enough about this pick. I'm not giving it back. I'm keeping it. So, Coco, I'm sorry. I'm locking this in my safe. Of course, you can probably give my safe a nasty look and it'll pop open but that's neither here nor there anyway thanks for your time everybody stay safe and uh, other than stealing a pick like this from logo from uh, Kokomo lock stay legal <laughs>